At this point in the semester, we've learned about two really important concepts. Collision theory taught us that in order for chemical reactions to occur, reactant molecules must collide with the proper orientation and with sufficient kinetic energy to surmount the reaction's activation energy barrier. Our study of thermodynamics gave us insight into whether reactions are favorable in terms of enthalpy and entropy, and how those thermodynamic quantities, in addition to temperature, determine the spontaneity of a particular reaction. These concepts all come together in an extremely important tool that chemists use frequently, reaction coordinate diagrams. These are graphs that show reaction progress, or the reaction coordinate on the x-axis, and energy on the y-axis. Usually we mean Gibbs free energy. On the left side of a reaction coordinate diagram are reactant molecules, or starting materials, which have some combined total energy. And on the right side are the products, which have a different combined total energy. If the reaction is spontaneous and delta G is negative, then the products are lower in energy or more stable than the reactants. If delta G is positive, then the products are higher in energy or less stable than the reactants. The size of delta G tells you how spontaneous or how large the driving force of the reaction is. In between reactants and products, we show the energies of the molecules as their collision occurs. As they get closer and closer, the repulsive forces between their electrons cause the energy to increase. If they collide with enough kinetic energy, that is, more than the activation energy barrier, then they proceed toward products. If they collide with insufficient energy, then they just bounce off of each other and don't undergo a reaction. Sometimes chemical reactions occur in a series of steps. Each step occurs by a new collision, so every single step in a multi-step reaction is illustrated by its own hump in a reaction coordinate diagram. And the dips in the reaction coordinate represent intermediates, molecules that are formed sometime between the starting materials first colliding and the products eventually being formed. Regardless of how many steps a reaction has, or how high the activation energy barriers are, the spontaneity or Gibbs free energy change of a reaction is just dictated by the difference in energy between the starting materials and the products.